All right, welcome back. Here's video number four in our server basics. We already configured a domain controller, Active Directory, users and computers, um, DNS, DHCP, and joined the computer to the domain. So let's say we want to go ahead and share a directory out to our network. All right. Uh, typically, well, the way here, here's what I would do. I would just go ahead and create a directory somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and throw it right here on the C drive, just make it simple. Let's call it uh, home share. Okay, let's go ahead and right click it, go to properties, sharing. Uh, we want to go ahead and share it. Choose people you work with. Okay, this is one way to do it. Um, let's just go everyone. Now let's go domain users. All right, now since it is, that is a domain group or a, a group within Active Directory it found it and it went ahead and put it in there right now by default it's only got read access let's just leave it at that okay let's go ahead and share it so there you go it's shared so now from a client PC all right let's bring up our Windows 7 machine let's say we go to backslash backslash server one Oops, server dash one it's going to show you all the shares. These are just network ones. Um, they have specific purposes, but here's our home share. We can get in there. I don't think we're going to be able to create anything, though. Oh, well, actually, we can. Maybe because I'm a domain admin, though. And you know why? Because I used a UNC path as well. It's, uh, because, and I'm also logged in as a domain admin. Let's go ahead and go back into Active Directory real quick. And... Let's fully test this out, shall we? All right, Active Directory. We're gonna let's go ahead and log in to let's go ahead and log in as Joe Smith, one of our ER doctors. All right, so let's log out of this thing here. And I'm gonna pause it because logging in takes a little bit of time. The first well, here I'm just logging in here. So Jay Smith and all right, so it's gonna take a little bit to log in. I'll pause it. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're logged in as Joe Smith, our ER person. Let's see what happens when we go server dash one. Okay, we can see it. Can we create a folder though? No, nope. access denied. All right, that's because the permissions on that share were um, go to security here. You can see domain users. We have read and execute list folders and read, but we don't have any write permissions. Uh, domain admins, of course, have full control. Um, all right, that's one way, or you could, to specify sharing permissions and everything, you could just go into security and go ahead and do that as well. But um, All right, so let's say we want to give this person, just the real basics, uh, let's say we want to go ahead and give this person some different permissions, or not, let's just say this one person, because there's going to be, if you have thousands of people, you don't want to, maybe you don't want to give all thousand domain users a certain type of access so let's go ahead and edit this we want to go ahead and add let's just go ahead and add this one person um, exclusively and let's give them let's give them modify rights not full control but let's just give them modify rights so now we can hit OK now we should be able to create a folder alright there's our folder we can create it now um, so it's one cool thing about dealing with domains and stuff and Active Directory. You can you can really get uh, detail as far as what kind of permissions you want to set up for users and groups. Um, and let's go ahead and, for example, let's go ahead and map a drive, shall we? Of course, there's different ways to do this. You could do it like this. Uh, wait, let's go back up here. Could go uh, server dash one. Right click on home share. And map network drive. You can do it this way, or you can just oops, go back. Not network. I don't care about the network. Let's go to my computer. Let's uh, map a network drive. Let's call this one H for home share. Well, no, let's call it um, L for loser. All right. So you can browse to it if you want to be dorky about it, but I don't. Since we were, we should know what our server names are and all that stuff. Hit backslash. We can go ahead and do home share. 
and we want to reconnect it at login. Finish. All right, so there it is. So now you can see we have a map drive. Now every time we boot up to the computer, this is going to be mapped automatically for us. Pretty basic stuff. Um, it's kind of how I do it here at home. I have a home share directory that has a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's on a raid and everything. So would we cover here basically just creating a directory sharing it out changing some permissions a little bit again you can change permissions on groups and stuff too if you wanted a certain group like let's say we want the is team which it's kind of a bad example because is team has uh, typically have domain admin rights so they can do anything they want at any time they don't need to have special permission set up but let's just say we want to add the what was it I forgot what they were called is something is group that's it I found it so is group and we give is group modify rights you can do stuff like that but like I said we don't really need to deal with that and there's a lot of more a lot more advanced stuff you can do here that I've had to do quite often in different environments um, with these advanced settings and everything it uh, we'll, we'll, we can get into that later but for the most part, this should work fine. Um, let's see. Oh, here, here's something else as well. Somewhat, it's somewhat of importance. Okay, let's say, who are we? Joe Smith? All right. Let's say we want to get to the direct C drive of this computer. How can we do that? We go server one. That's just showing us what's shared. Okay, oops. This is only what's shared right now. Visibly sharing, shared. Now, if we go here and we go to, uh, is it manage, right click, manage, I can forget what brings up what here. All right, where are we at? Since it's on a server, it's a little, a little different. Okay, it's not that one. Where is it at? Da, 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 da. It's not there. It's not diagnostics. It's going to be not there and not there. Well, I know we can get to it from computer, mgmt.msc. Nope, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm a liar. Um, shoot. Oh, there it is. Shared folders. Was it? That wasn't there last time. Maybe it's because I'm in a different area. Anyways, you can see here we got shares. We have our home share. We have the net logon and the sys vol. But wait, what are these with the dollar signs? Those dollar signs, if you add a dollar sign to the end, it's going to hide your share. So actually the C drive, you can see it if you do backslash backslash server one backslash C share or C dollar sign. And it's saying, hey, all right, are you, are you sure? Who are you? you know, or do you have rights to the C drive? And if I put in my IS admin account, I should be able to get to it. Or if I was logged in, logged in as a domain admin, it, would be lo it, would, uh, it wouldn't even prompt me for a username and password. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening. I'm gonna snap it in here. It's definitely taking a sweet old time. Okay, well this popped up. And quite frankly, it's probably because multiple connections server share resource, same user. Or uh, all connections, try resource. There's some issue, but anyways, that's what you would do. And and what's cool is check it out. We can go ahead, let's say we want to um you know what? Let's see if we can do it this way. I want to hide this one. Properties, home share. I wonder if it's if we can add it to right here. I don't think it'd be right here. It'd actually be share. Where is it at? Advanced sharing. Here we go. No. Oh, we can't edit. Oh, mama mia. Oops. Um. Shoot. So there's your cancel. Well, it is. Let's see. All right, there we go. I don't even know what I changed because I was flipping through. Maybe it was just right here. I just added it right here. So now we got home share dollar sign. It's actually hidden. So if somebody's searching the network for file shares, they're not going to find it, at least not easily. Um, so there you go. Later. Stay tuned for more. Oh, yeah.